Hi, this is Dr. Apostey, interventional radiologist and associate professor of radiology. Here, I'm going to share my interesting cases with you. Welcome to my dark room. Here I present a 90-year-old man presented with acute abdomen to the ED. In the CT scans, you can see that there is a small amount of free fluid in the peritoneum and the colon lobes are dilated with uh, thin walls. As we scroll down, we can see some simple cysts, in, especially in the left kidney, and we can see how fecal material is impacted within the dilated bowel lobes. As I scroll down the images, you can see that uh, large bowel lobes are dilated and full of fecal material. Here, the uh, mucosa of uh, the colon has normal enhancement, but as we reach the recto sigmoid and rectum, we can see that there's hyper enhancement of mucosa here, and uh, there are also uh, straits of uh, gray color around the perirectal uh, fat that is called stranding and signals that there is some inflammation here. Um, there is also mm, a ball of hyperdense uh, fecal material within the rectum that is, uh, which is called uh, fecaloma. As I zoom in the images, you can also see that, uh, see that there is a penetrating ulcer uh, in the anterior rectal wall and uh, you can see gas strands in the uh, bowel wall. This combination of findings um, indicates the presence of stercoral peritonitis, which is a complication of stercoral colitis. Stercoral colitis develops in patients with long standing con constipations. The mm, presence of um, dense uh, fecal material within the bowel wall causes pressure ischemia that can eventually lead to necrosis and microperforations and peritonitis. The condition is potentially fatal and unfortunately our patient died and, and could not survive.